Welcome to the Raise with Jesus podcast, 10 minutes every day where the life of Jesus meets yours. You've got your Sunday preview for July 21st, Pentecost 6, still in our series, Where's My Line? And today, in today's gospel lesson, we look at the gospel of Luke, um, beginning in chapter 9, verse 51. We see that following Christ is all or nothing, total commitment. When the days were approaching for him to be taken up, Jesus was determined to go to Jerusalem. He sent messengers ahead of him. They went and entered a Samaritan village to make preparation for him. But the people did not welcome him, because he was determined to go to Jerusalem. When his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to call on fire from heaven to consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. You don't know what kind of spirit is influencing you. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy people's souls, but to save them. Then they went to another village. As they went on their way, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus told him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another man also said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say goodbye to those at my home. Jesus told him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. All of our readings today focus on the idea of total commitment. Our first reading is from the book of Jonah, and where we see Jonah is totally uncommitted to God, and yet God is committed to being merciful. In our second reading, which we'll also consider briefly in our sermon today, Paul writes to the Corinthians, um, and he writes to the Corinthians about his, about his weakness and about his commitment to the Lord, and his commitment that brought him all sorts of trouble and trial, such as uh, whippings and beatings. He was pelted with stones and left for dead, shipwrecked, imprisoned, and the list goes on. And he holds himself up as an example of total commitment. But he asked the Corinthians, Now, <laughs> in what do you boast? Because that was the real issue, that the Corinthians were boasting about their commitment and boasting about their successes. And Paul says, I would rather boast about my weaknesses, because my weaknesses and my failings show how committed the Lord has been to me. And so in all of our readings, um, especially in our gospel reading, we see that we see that Jesus has been totally committed to us. He, he has set his face. He is determined to go to Jerusalem. He is totally committed, even though he knows the pain and the suffering and the death that awaits him there. And so in his total commitment um, to us, we strive to reflect that in our total commitment to him. And that's kind of tied in um, with our, our selection from the Augsburg Confession on the inside front cover of our bulletin. Um, we see that faith gladly serves God. And this is, what, this is what is written there from Article 6. Our churches teach that faith is bound to bring forth good fruit. It is necessary to do good works commanded by God because of God's will. We should not rely on these works to merit justification before God. That is, you know, what we do doesn't earn our forgiveness. <laughs> the forgiveness of sins and justification is received through faith. The voice of Christ testifies, So you also, when you have done all that was commanded of you, are to say, We were unworthy servants, we have only done what was our duty. The Church Fathers teach the same thing. Ambrose says, It is ordained by God that he who believes in Christ is saved, freely receiving forgiveness of sins without works, through faith alone. And so we conclude with prayer. Lord Jesus, you have called me to deny myself, take up my cross, and follow you. I understand that logically, and the faith you created wants to serve you and serve others, but I fear that I still have a line, a limit. Search me, know me and create the total commitment that you seek, so that I may serve you with an undivided heart, today and forever. Amen. You can find us this morning, 9 a.m. at 2250 South Holland Savannah Road in Maumee. You can also check out our YouTube live stream. Just search for Resurrection Maumee. We'll start broadcasting uh, right around 9 a.m. Eastern Time. God bless your day.